welcome to hauler time my name is amy and we are here for a timu haul so let's get to it so first we have a i'm gonna guess this is a mirror i can't remember at this point but a personalized a for amy And yep, it's a mirror. Oh, see, this should be my thumbnail. So, one is regular size and one is magnified. And weirdly enough, some of these don't have all of the letters. So let's see if this one did. Because that's weird, right? Unless they've just sold out, but some of them don't even offer all the letters. This one's from a weird order, so that's why I'm trying to I'm trying to find the right one. Maybe this one. Yes, okay. So that's nice if I got my screenshot out of the way. On my last video, I was supposed to hold, you guys are supposed to remind me at the end to hold up all my purple stuff so I could do the picture. So I had to like record a short little thing after where I was holding it just so I could get a screenshot because I couldn't I couldn't hold the things and take a picture. All right, letter compact mirror fold foldable. I paid $1.64. It's now $2.66. And I can't tell if they have a lot of. Okay, they have all the letters on this one. So if this is something you like, then you should be good to go. All right, and next. Well, let's do these. So I got some more nail stickers. These look to be kind of all the same. Well, they're it's the same shape, but they're different sizes. So, I got some of these a while back, well, not that long ago, and before I, before I, while my nails were recovering from the last gel polish I did, and I put one of them, okay, you guys know I love you because I don't hold back and try to make myself look good, so I put one of these on my plain nail after that. And then it stayed on, but then I was taking a shower and I was like, well, this comes right off. What the stink? Well, duh, you have to put polish on it afterwards. So it's not good enough to just take this off and put it on the nail. You gotta then put a layer of polish over it, presumably gel polish, that's what I've been doing. So you would probably, this is two coats of the color. So after I got done with the second coat of the color and cured it, I'd put this on it, and I think I even read you're maybe supposed to cure it with this on it before you put that final top coat on. So I will probably, now, now that I know what I'm doing, I will probably try this on my next, my next, because there's a ton of these on Timu. And since I'm not having, or I haven't yet had luck with the fake nails that have all the pretty designs on it. This could be a way for those of us that do gel manicures to add some sparkle aside from just using a sparkle color polish. But you would use these with some tweezers to put on your fingernails. All right, let's see what those cost. Hopefully they're in this order. And I'm sorry, my nose seems to just now be wanting to run. Oh, 
Okay, come on. Wouldn't you know, it's in the other order. How you guys been? How was your day or is your day? I usually have these airing around noon central time, so maybe her day's not gone very far. Mine hasn't. Okay, glittering butterfly and heart nails. Well, they must have different designs. I got the light, the piece of light. I paid 55 cents and you can also get stars, love, or a combination. And they are currently 55 cents. All right, one more and then we'll talk fashion. Okay, here we have a notepad to-do list with some pretty rainbow clouds on them. Have a rainbow day. So these I got for my Bible. Are they post-it notes or are they just, they're just paper. Okay, and it's pretty thin paper, which is perfect for Bible journaling. But obviously you can use these for just a to-do list. But what I got these for is because, you know, there's those, those verses in the Bible that are like a, a set of things to do or fruit of the spirit or you know lists and I thought well I could on when I come across those I could put them on my list to do or maybe it's not to do you know maybe it's a list of things you're not supposed to do so that's what I got these for I thought that would be cute you know you could use this for the love chapter first Corinthians 13 love is patient love is kind you could put all of those things on there. Okay. What did I pay for those? They're probably in the other order. <laughs> but after this, everything will be in the same order. Okay, come on. Okay. I feel like I got a sneeze. You guys, I'm going to have to stop this and piece this together. Hang, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Sometimes when I sneeze, it's just a single sneeze, but I could tell this one was not going to be. And sometimes when I sneeze lots of times in a row, I get a nosebleed. So you got to do that. So if you see blood, like on X-Files with Scully, you say something. All right, anyway, these... These to-do sheets, 50 sheets for 56 cents. You can now get them for $1.23. All right, so what am I wearing? So I am wearing my purple dress from my last episode. I really, really like this dress. So I may actually go now. I kind of would like it in burgundy, but anyway. It was the sleeveless, it's super, super soft. I'm wearing it with my noisy Timu jean jacket. And I just threw this on because it did have some purple in it, but it's not really the right color. It's a rose gold. And then my pear grape toppers. So I have a link below to all the Timu information and to my pair referral code. Yes, I do free advertising for pair because I'm hoping at some point they will notice me and send me some free toppers. But anyway, I got this pair of glasses for 50, they're $60 if you don't do anything extra and you just get a single prescription. And I had a coupon, so I got them for $54. They have little magnets right here and then the toppers have little magnets. And then there you go. And so yeah, so I can I can be I can be like I'm not a grandma, but I could be the cool grandma. <laughs> so unfortunately, people think when I'm out with my kids, I'm with my grandkids. It's like just because somebody has white and gray hair, I mean this this hair's not It's like don't make assumptions about how old people are. 
Although I did go shopping. I've probably told this story before, but I did go shopping at a Salvation Army once and the lady's like, are you a senior or something? Cause she was going to give me a discount. And I said, no. And she looked at me like, really? Are you sure you're not a senior? And I should have just said, yes, yes, I'm a senior. Give me the discount. But then she probably would have made me show my driver's license or something. I don't know. Maybe they don't care that much. But anyway, my husband's been called a grandpa for like 20 years and he, his beard is still like reddish blonde. So there's no reason anybody should have been calling him. But hey, before Timu and after Timu, I had granny style clothes. So whatever. It's how you feel on the inside, right? And if you still feel young and you could still act young, then who cares what people say? All right. Next, I got a set of hair ties. Yeah, I'm wondering if I'm starting to get sick. Although my throat doesn't hurt. It just feels like I've got sinus gunk going on. All right, so this is 50 pieces of elastic hair bands for girls. Girls. <laughs> they mean young people. And you can now get them for $1.28. You can get them in all black or this colorful set. And my youngest daughter will probably steal some of these, but I, ha I just have a drawer in the bathroom that's full of this kind of stuff. So these are a thicker, a thicker one, which is kind of nice. I have a lot of the ones from Dollar Tree that are just this skinny ones, but these, these have good elasticity. So I think these will be great, but they are in kind of your warm, like wintry kind of colors. All right. Next, got a, I think this is a dress, a shirt dress, maybe knee length, maybe kind of slippery. You can't really, well, you can maybe kind, it's kind of swimsuity, I guess is what I should say. But it's just a basic dress that I will wear with leggings. But yeah, I'm kind of looking at this. I'm kind of worried that it might not be big enough, but I might be surprised. So it's got the seams on the sides, which is great for a dress like this. You don't, I mean, sometimes I put the seam down the back and then it's like, doesn't match up. So this is nice. And it's got great colors. I have a lot of different, being that red is kind of the predominant color, I'll probably wear my red toppers with it. But you'll see if I wear this in a future haul. I try to wear, I try to wear the stuff, you know, for you guys. Not that you can, it would be better if I took a picture of me standing somewhere so you could see the whole thing, but that's a lot of work. It shouldn't be, but it is. Okay, this dress, striped crew neck dress. I paid $309, that's an excellent price. Okay, now granted it feels kind of like a swimming suit, but that's still a really good price. And let's hope it doesn't cling like it does on the model, but hold on. So you can get it in sizes S to XXL. I got the XXL and that is what it looks like on the model. So it won't look like that on me, but 
hopefully it hopefully if it clings it <laughs> clings in the right places but I could easily see see one thing it kind of made it seem like like this picture made me feel like there'd be kind of more like it's more muted than it really is in person I don't know maybe it's the same but I just felt like it would have more of the kind of this this middle layer here but you could easily I could this could be a all year round outfit depending on what I wore over it but I don't have to wear anything over it because it has sleeves And if I didn't say, it's currently 9.49. All right, next. Oh, this is kind of a cool thing. So this would be great for traveling or keeping in the car or your purse, because it's a great size. I'm probably gonna order another one of these. Now on the outside, I, th I think this is supposed to be a stand. So, I think they're acting like you could put your, wait. How do you keep, oh. No. I think this is supposed to be a stand, but I'm not sure how, I'm not sure how that works yet. Okay, well, maybe when I get into the listing, we'll see. Anyway, there's this back here. It's, I don't know why you, well, whatever. Okay, inside is what you really are wanting. So, it's got a USB-C on both sides. So it's a small little cord, but then you can convert, convert one side of it to a lightning. And it snapped on there. You could convert one side to the micro USB. You could convert one side to a USB. And then I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure what this is, but I think this is to get the SIM card out of your phone, I think. And then there are also slots in here, these slots over here that I think if you had an SD card or a mini SD card, you could store them in here with this. Um, I'm not sure I knew that it didn't come with those, but the price I'm sure would be indicative of that. So let me get this put back in here. So yeah, so this would be a great, just a little converter kit to have, because sometimes I'll be traveling and I'll have the right cord for what I need, but then it, the cord stops working. And then the only other cord I can find doesn't have the right pieces or the right part. So let's find the listing and then figure out what that stand is for. Do people still use those SD cards? Like, I feel like now, well, iPhones you can't use unless there's a way to, I don't know. I don't know how if you can use SD cards with a phone. I know you can with Androids and tablets and stuff, but that seems like a thing of the past almost. Is this one of the things I got? to get coupons. Yes, it is. Okay, fruit fly. All right, this is a five-in-one USB-C 
USB type C converter. I paid 274, got a price adjustment. It comes in blue, black, pink, or you can get two black and two white. It's currently 276. And I was trying to see if it said what that little metal piece was, but I think that's what they use to get um, your SIM card out, I think. But show me how, what the stand, oh, self-contained card taking needle is what they're calling it. And come on, where is the, oh, so they're showing, putting it like in a, if you have a little hole there. <laughs> this keeps you organized. Okay, they are showing it as a stand. So I think you have it like this and you put the phone, I think it's supposed to go like this. So, okay. How many of you put your phones on a stand? I, I've bought plenty of stands, but I never put my phone on one. I always just have it sitting flat. So anyway, this is going in my purse, so that'll be nice to have just in case. Next, some more, I must've been on a kind of a travel kick. These are travel bottles that came with some little labels. Facial cleanser, hand cream, foundation, shampoo, body wash, so all the basic things you might wanna use these for. It's just a set of three. So for me, that means shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And you fill it up and then you can squeeze it out. And these might be TSA approved for if you're going on an airplane. You know, they have pretty strict um, limits and stuff. So let's get back to the other order. But I've noticed on Timu that it will say TSA approved if it is a product like that. I'd be surprised if these aren't TSA approved because I feel like you could probably take a container just a little bit bigger than this, but maybe not. All right, these are 60 milliliter refill travel bottles. It does not, this one does not say TSA approved, but I have some in my cart right now that do. So I don't, like I said, I don't know if it's the container or the size. I don't know what makes it because I haven't, I haven't, have I flown anywhere since 9 11? <laughs> Which is, so long ago now, but I don't think I have. I don't think I've flown anywhere since 2004. We just drive, I mean, our family likes the driving experience and it's cheaper for six of us. So we just drive everywhere. So, okay, so I paid 37 cents for those bottles and you can get it today for $1.67. So, so yeah, watch for, the lightning deals when they have the under a dollar stuff because that's where I'm sure where I found that. All right, next is a sweatshirt that is not a sweatshirt. Ugh. It's just a shirt. So it's supposed to be a sweatshirt, but you can see it's not. They, they didn't fluff it out or whatever you do to make it but 
so I'm already buying stuff for fall, I guess. I must, this must have been a really good deal because I don't know why I would be, I'm still, I still want to celebrate summer clothes. So I'm not sure why I would have already been buying something like this unless it was a good deal. <laughs> anyway, so coffee weather in gray to match my hair because when all else fails, you get stuff that matches what you are naturally gifted with. All right, plus size coffee print pullover. I paid $4.57, so yeah, it was probably on a lightning deal or something. You can get it in sizes 0XL to 4XL. I, I should have probably gotten a 2XL just so it was baggy. Now it's probably gonna be just right and you want your sweatshirts to be baggy. But anyway, it comes in the gray, pink, a light pink that is, apricot, rose red, olive green, and violet. I think, yeah, the gray one is like $4 cheaper than all the rest of them, but the gray one is now $8.98. So that's also why I got gray, because sometimes I don't care what the color is. But... Yeah, they kind of trick you a little bit because it's hard to tell, but when you're looking at the picture, it looks like, because they've got the cuffs and it looks like they would be soft and furry like a sweatshirt. And they call it a sweatshirt. They need to understand what Americans think of sweatshirts is not this. But anyway... Yeah, so I hope even though I got a 1XL, it's still baggy so that I can wear it with leggings because otherwise, I guess I'll wear it with black jeans. Okay, <laughs> shoes. So these quickly became a favorite of mine. So much so that when you find something you really like, if it's cheap, you get another one. So I got another pair and I'm wearing my original pair. But see those toenails? They're going on like five, six weeks now. But um, yeah, so I really like these. So I, I got another one and you've seen me get these in red and I think I've got the brown ones in my cart. And they, they are, well, Okay, let me take it. They're not cheap for flip-flops, but they're probably cheap compared to like Old Navy flip-flops. $388. Women's vintage thick sole sandals. Well, they're not really that thick. You can get them in sizes five through eight, and they do have the half sizes all in between there. And they're now $698. I don't know if I, well, yes, I would pay $6.98 for them because I really, really like them. I think if they look really nice, that bar across the top, I think just adds a nice line to feet. As weird as that sounds. All right, next, I needed a staple remover for work. So I got a staple remover for work. Just super cheap. Now I've, I've, I've had the kind of like the claw clip removers before and I have one of those at work, but one of the side things fell off, the plastic part. So for some reason I couldn't find that kind on Timu, but I found this kind and I thought, well, this will work just as good. So gotta make sure I put this with all the stuff. I've got a little bag worth of stuff now that I've been hauling on here to take to work. All right. I know that you really, really, really want to know what I would pay for such a thing like that. This was part of that six piece order I did to get the coupon. So I was ordering the cheapest things I could find, 
which usually on those, they try to put expensive things on there. But if you ever get that offer, go for cheap and then use the coupon to get the expensive things. It's a one piece magnetic. Oh, so I don't have anything. Well, that's kind of nice. So when you get the staple out, it doesn't hopefully fall somewhere to get. I don't know. Do I have anything? No. I don't know. I don't guess I have anything that I can test that out with. But anyway, magnetic staple remover. I paid $249, which is overpriced. I did get a price adjustment. And you can now get it for $1.31. So that's a more reasonable price for something like that. All right. Next. So, if you've been around a while, you know that 2024 is the year of pink in my Bible journaling. So, I found these cards to use for journaling notes, but I ordered these before I realized I don't really like thick things to write notes on in my Bible because then it makes the pages lay weird. But these are a little bit these are not as thick as the Bible verse cards that I've shown on here before. So these may still be okay. And I can write a note on it and I can make it a flippy do. Probably if I made it a flippy do along the edge, outside edge, it would probably be just fine. But anyway, you get a whole box. They had all the different colors of the rainbow and pastels, I think. So I picked pink and... Let's see what I paid. So my Bible carrying bag that I got from Timu is getting quite full, as is my Bible pockets in the back where I've got all these things that I've been getting for note taking time. But I've noticed when I'm taking notes on these extra things, like if if I'm taking notes directly in on a Bible page or the, I made my Matthew interleave so I've got a blank page between each Bible page, I find when I take notes directly on those, I don't mess up. But when I'm taking the notes on these extra cards or extra papers that I'm gonna tape in, I goof up on those. <laughs> so then I have to start over and I end up wasting a lot of them. So I don't, why is that, you know? I don't, that makes no sense. So there's a hundred cards in that box. I paid 51 cents. They are now 224. So yeah, granted we're halfway through the year already of my year of pink and the next year will be my year of orange. So I am filming this on a Sunday and on Saturdays, my parents go to, to Saturday night church, but if my mom decides not to go, then my dad messages me so that I will go over for while he's gone kind of thing. And my mom has Alzheimer's if you're new to my channel. Well, it had been where my husband and I would go over together kind of so my dad would leave like at 4 30 and probably get home at 6 30. It had been where we would go over like at five and stay till my dad got home. Well then one time when he said he was going alone he's like but try to make your visit short or something and I was like what does that mean? <laughs> like and usually that means then that there's been some problem with a previous visit. So I don't know if it bugged her that we were there for that long or whatever. So then one of those times I was like, well, okay, I'll just be aware that she's home alone. And in case she comes over, we'll make sure there's somebody that can answer the door, you know, to help her or whatever. Well, then last night she wasn't going to go again. So then I asked my dad, I said, I'm like, 
Okay, so if we're not supposed to go over for the whole time, are we just supposed to go over for five, 10 minutes? And he's like, well, maybe like a half hour between 5.30 and six. So kind of in the middle of when he's gone. I was like, okay. And I was like, I'll go by myself this time instead of Jason and I, just in case that's part of it too. And so I did that and it got to be six. I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna go home. And part of the problem with deciding to go over for a short period of time is I don't have any social skills, so I don't know how to extract myself from the situation. I wasn't sure how I was just gonna up and decide to leave, but I decided, well, that's about when dinner would be ready. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and go, you know, get dinner and stuff. And she's like, okay. And well, she followed me outside to look at her flowers and stuff. And as we're standing out there, I thought, shoot, I can't just walk home and go home unless I know she's gone back in the house. And so, so then I was like, well, how do I do that? I don't want to just say you need to go back inside, you know, you're not safe. Well, luckily it was kind of cloudy. And so I, it had rained some during the day. And so I was, I was like, well, it's going to rain. So we need to get inside, you know, and she's like, okay. And then she starts telling me another story that she's already told me three or four times in that half hour I'd been there. And so I'm, you know, standing there, you know, listening and stuff. And meanwhile, the mosquitoes are <laughs> biting my legs and, and, but I, I can't, you know, I'm not the kind of person that can just say, I've heard this story already. You need to go inside. So I'm just listening and stuff. And so then it started to sprinkle a little bit and I'm like, okay, it's starting to sprinkle. Well, she was wearing like head to toe coverage so she could feel it. And finally she felt it, but then she needed to tell me the story again. And so then I, I'm like trying to walk, hoping that maybe if I'm like trying to walk away, that she'll go back. And, and finally we got to a point after like 20 minutes of standing outside where she was starting to go and I live only two houses down but I was walking on the sidewalk but then I was like having to walk super slow <laughs> so I could make sure she got into the house because I was afraid if I took her back into the house and left the house that she'd come back out again so finally you know so I'm like walking really slow pretending like I'm looking on my phone but like keep looking back and she's like you eh. You know, if you're, are you going, is there anybody else at your house? I'm like, yes. And she's like, cause if you're alone, you can stay here. And I'm like, no, you know, and, and finally I saw her go in. And so then I could go home, but I thought I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. So I don't know. It's, I mean, it was easy when we would stay. Oh, is this broken? Ugh. It was easy when we would just stay till my dad got home because my dad was then there to help make sure she, you know, didn't try to leave. Yeah, this is broken, you guys. So it's a nice, pretty necklace. But the, the clasp is up here. So I need to get my jewelry tools. I think I can just pry one of these open and stick it back together anyway it's a pretty necklace if I get that burgundy dress it might go with that although it might get lost so this would look good with white actually this would look good with my jean dress too right guys <laughs> I've ordered some I got a, a jean dress that I think I was gonna wear with this so I got some I ordered some shoes to go with it and then purse and some jewelry to kind of add red in so I could have like a red white and blue theme and I think this is I think when I was ordering that stuff I noticed I'd already ordered this so I could put this together so anyway it's a long necklace that I obviously have to fix but so yeah so that's my story this episode I guess I don't know oh and it did this did come with earrings so yeah those of you that have been in a similar situation I don't know it's like you got to be careful you know you want them to be safe 
but the whole time I was <laughs> that I was walking down the sidewalk waiting for her to go in, I was like praying, Lord, please let her decide to go inside because I just don't know what to do. Oh, those go with my nails. I mean, if it had come down to it, I would have just gone back in the house with her. But So yeah, I'm not going to lie. That makes Saturday's kind of anxious for me. Not knowing if she's going to decide to go to church or not. And my poor dad's living with this every day, right? So who am I to get upset about a little bit of time like that? All right. Next is a Hello Kitty bag. This is like a felt bag, it looks like. Yeah, it's felt, but it's it's kind of junky right here. Now, maybe it just would naturally get like that, but for it to already come kind of folded and creased is not great. I'm trying to think if I could tell it was felt when I was ordering it. It probably says that. But it's still cute, but it's... I thought I was getting a purse, to be honest. And this is more like a supply bag or a tote. But it does have some a decent amount of space. So this could be kind of a substitute Bible bag, maybe, if I wanted to get more fashionable for a day. But yeah, I'm kind of disappointed with the fold in it. But let's look and see what it what it says. I'm just fall on the floor, whatever. Okay, Sanrio Hello Kitty polyester tote. Okay, well, I paid three oh four. Got a price adjustment. It's currently three twenty three. You can also get it in solid red. Yeah, it. I guess. I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't speak like felt to me when I'm looking at this. So I, I don't know. I, I'm, I am disappointed in that. We'll see. I might even return it because of the, the creases in the iron on. Like it's one thing if it happens over time, but it's already creased and wrinkled pretty bad. So it feels, that makes it feel used to me, even though it's not. So, all right, well, that's kind of a bummer, bummer to end this haul on something that wasn't so great, but there were a lot of things I liked in this haul. So I've got to find my jewelry tools to fix this necklace, but otherwise, um, yeah, I, I enjoyed this. Of course, I got to piece this together, but whatevs. So anyway, wherever you are, whenever you are, I hope you're having a great day. And until we meet again, take care of yourself. Thank you.